us at all soon. Guard might get nervous. A woman approaches with a weapon drawn. Good to see Skyrim still has such a time. You get... Old man, oh. Not as dumb as you look. Deals. Take a look. See me at my forge if you need arms or armor. My friend died. Things won't be the same without him. Skyrim's history of war is well documented. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Well met. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Steal anything from my...
I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. I've got a letter and a lot of gold. Something about it being your, uh, oh, inheritance. Oh, and sorry for your loss. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Ancestors wouldn't want this, Silas. Why should I hide from it? This is my family's legacy. It's the past. Dead oaths on dead lips. Let it stay there. The museum is opening, Medina. Start a strange time, friend. Seems everyone in the town is having nightmares. Divine sakes, Gaul. Who do you think we're threatening with our old war wounds? We're not soldiers anymore. Your man Horik is wearing his old Legion armor. What should I make of that? He's proud of his service, Scald. The Legion taught us loyalty, and we're loyal to Dawnstar. This isn't over. I catch you sending one letter to General Tullius. I'll have you both executed. You never talk much about yourself, do you, Horik? I swear, these past 30 years, you've been at my side, and I think I barely know you. What's to say? I was born on a farm, joined the Legion when I came of age, and I've served you ever since. What about your family? There must have been someone waiting for you back at the farm, wondering if you were ever coming home. No, can't say there was. My parents died when I was young. You and the Legion have been my only family since. I see. You're a good soldier, Horik. I'm sorry for intruding. You weren't. There's just not much to it. Here comes my first visitor. The Museum of the Mythic Dawn is open, friend. Never mind that. Medina is a good woman, but I have my own reasons for opening this museum, and I'm not changing my mind. I have a collection of artifacts from the group that toppled an empire. Their importance to history cannot be forgotten. 
Why don't you come in? You can browse the displays and we can talk. I have a job you look perfect for. Let's talk inside. Feel free to look around. Come talk to me when you're ready to discuss that job. The tapestries hung here and outside were found in hideouts, where members of the Mythic Dawn would meet and plot. The cult's greatest accomplishment was the assassination of the Septim Dynasty. And the opening of the Oblivion Gates. Ah, yes. That scabbard. Notice the insignia? An Oblivion Gate. A key symbol of Merun's Dagon, the patron Daedra of the Mythic Dawn. That burned paper is all that remains of the fabled Mysterium Xarxes, the blasphemous book written by Merun's Dagon himself. It's said that Mankar Cameron used the book to open a portal to a paradise where all his followers would live forever. The commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes were written by the Mythic Dawn cult leader, Mankar Cameron. He promised a paradise awaited his followers when they died, that they would be reborn by Merun's Dagon's side. Did you have any questions about the museum? Or would you rather talk business? They were worshippers of Merun's Dagon, the Daedric Lord of Destruction and Change. The mythic dawn killed Uriel Septim VII and his heirs, triggering the events that led to the Oblivion Crisis when the Daedra invaded Tamriel. All that remains of the infamous cult, I've gathered in my museum. Ah, an excellent question. Merun's Dagon is the Daedric Lord of Change, Destruction, and Ambition.